How are you feeling? Pissed off. Feeling pissed off? Yeah. It's understandable. How come you're feeling pissed off? Yeah. There's nowhere to stay in San Diego. It's huge. Dad. There's nowhere to stay. We are in San Diego and um, apparently it's not an easy place to find somewhere to be for a couple days. Um, they have a permit system where you, you can't anchor unless you book 24 hours in advance and they have very, very limited amount of places to stay. Um, even though on the charts there's anchorages everywhere. I mean, there's probably 15 of them. Um, most of them are all run by the same company and they change their policy and reduce the amount of vessels they're allowing in. And anyway, in this enormous place, we can't find an anchorage, a mooring, or a guest slip. Not a single one. It's crazy. So we just sailed here, probably four hours in now, and um, there's nowhere to anchor or nowhere to even stay the night here. So we're trying to figure out what we want to do. We were hoping to stay here for a few days so we could go take the dinghy over and check out all the ships and just kind of explore a little, but it doesn't sound like we're going to be able to stay here. Bummer. Use that now. It's a 19 So, finally find a, a guest slip in San Diego and it's so oh, hot here. We've been sailing and browsing around in the bay, well not the bay, but the giant, <laughs> like in the middle of the area and couldn't find anywhere to stay. And we've been this is the first time since we started this trip that I have sailed the boat solo. I mean, I, si I sail the boat all the time um, solo, but usually Sheer and the kids and whatnot are downstairs in the boat napping or whatever. 
This is the first time sailing the boat truly solo. And possibly for the last time. Um, we have decided that we really like this lifestyle. We love the cruising life, love the closeness we get as a family, and how the kids get to spend so much time with us and have all these new experiences. Um, and then not to mention COVID, it's the perfect thing to do with COVID. Um, yeah, so we're, we're thinking of upgrading to a bigger boat on the East Coast so that we can do Bahamas and Caribbean and then if we wanted to, sail it across the Atlantic to the Mediterranean, which has always been a dream of ours. So, anyway, we've decided to put the boat on the market while I fly to Hawaii. I've got a job over there I have to do, so I'm going to fly to Hawaii in about a week. And we're going to put the boat on the market and see what happens. And when the boat sells, we're gonna look for a boat on the East Coast, a bigger boat, probably 50 to mid 50s. Um, and probably a little bit newer, invest a little more money in, in the boat. And um, yeah, kind of start with more of a long-term goal of sailing for potentially a long time. I mean, who, who knows? It's, until it's not fun anymore. Most likely years. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is probably the last time that I'm going to sail this boat. And it's a beautiful day. I just left Redondo and I'm heading to Marina del Rey. So it's just a couple hours but it's great, it's nice. Probably, I don't know, 10, 12 knots of wind. Doing like six, six and a half knots. Nice sailing. It's a little sad, this boat has been great to us. We've really enjoyed this boat and it's taken us through some pretty, pretty stiff weather and didn't complain about it. Oh, it's fast, this boat's really fast too. Um, it's just not big enough for, for all of us. For me and Shira and the kids with the dogs and the cat, and it's just, uh, it's a little cramped. And for the type of sailing we wanna do, more long-term sailing, um, we need to have space for, you know, washer, a dryer, maybe don't need a, a dryer, but somewhere to wash clothes and we need a water maker and um, more storage, a lot more storage for provisions and a 40 foot boat for what we're thinking of doing is just not, um, it's not big enough for us and all that we are. So, yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know what to say. It's a sad, it's a sad moment. Love the boat. Sometimes you gotta let go of some stuff to be able to open up space for for new stuff and new possibilities new potential so that's where we're at we uh me and Bodhi are our co-pilots here we're skippering the boat solo today and <laughs> he's so attached to Shira and Shira's not on the boat right now. And so he is like super, super lovey. At first he was whining and you could tell in his head he was thinking, where's my mom? What happened to my mom? And then, um, and then now he just, he has to be right next to me. I mean, you can see he's like, he's like on me here. And when I move, he just comes and plops himself right down on top of me again. <laughs> oh. 
a good co pilot. Now I have another co-pilot. Hi! Yes! It's all of us piloting the boat here. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello! Thank you, bud. Yes! Oh. They're not used to sailing without Sheer and the kids here. So they're being very lovey. Pretty cute. and hopefully sell it to go to Florida and buy a new boat. joining us on our adventures. Stay tuned for a new chapter as we make some big changes and head to Florida.